Well, hi, you guys. It's Erica from Erica Jean Sells, and I am here with the second half of my Goodwill Bins haul. Um, I know the last one was so long, all the clothes that I got, so I just thought I would split it up and do some of the shoes and the, I've got a few hard goods things, not very many, but um, I thought I would give those to you in this haul. So let's get started. And I'll start off with the shoes because those are always really fun for me. Now there weren't nearly as many shoes this time as sometimes I can get at the bins. Um, usually that they'll, they'll have six to eight large bins that um, are just full of shoes and then they'll replace those every once in a while. But this time there was just a couple bins scattered all throughout the store. So I was searching throughout the whole store to see if I could find matches and there just weren't very many to choose from. But I still think I got some good stuff so I'll show you what I got. All right. First thing I got are these really cool slippers, and they're L.L. Bean slippers. Really nice shape. The Sherpa is in good shape. I mean, someone could replace this insole if they wanted to, but it's really still fluffy, not matted down, or really very dirty, and it's suede, and the bottoms don't look worn, and they're just a really nice sneaker. And I've heard... Who have I heard? I think it was Karen on Lavender Clothesline and maybe even Lori on Lori's Boston Found talking about L.L. Bean slippers. And I think that they have one style that is super popular and I don't know if this is it and I can't remember the name of it, but um, I'm going to do a little research and find out if there's a name for these and if those are the ones that are maybe sought after because I think those would sell really fast at this time of year. Okay. These next shoes are just our polo. So like polo Ralph Lauren, they're boots. And this isn't normally a brand I would pick up, but I just thought these boots were really cute. They have this cool kind of strap that goes over the front, but they're lace-up boots, suede, and they're just in really great condition. Again, I just look at the soles and I'm thinking, I don't know if anyone ever wore these outside. So I thought those would probably sell well. I've been selling quite a few boots um, and outdoorsy kind of shoes and several pairs of slippers. So that's why I'm always hot on picking those up because if they're a nice brand of slipper, people will totally buy them secondhand. So these are J. Crew boots and those almost look like they could be kind of a slippery, like a slipper kind of style. They don't have much tread on them. So I'm wondering if that's what they are or if they're actually a, a boot to wear outdoors. I'm not sure. But again, I can probably find the name or the number um, of these in the tag somewhere. So I'll look and see if I can find that out. But again, they're lined with kind of that Sherpa lining and they're just in really nice shape and those look very cozy. So I'm sure someone will want those. Next, I bought some tall, like riding boot style and I wasn't sure about these because they do, they are a little bit scuffed up, you can tell. Uh, but I do use Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on my shoes when they're scuffed, and it's pretty amazing. So I think that I can get these, in, put it into good shape. Um, and these are kind of cool because they have, they're leather, but then they kind of have this boiled, I think it's like boiled wool or felt or something on the back. Um, anyway, it's a really cute style. I really like them. And they are, these are Teva. And I found a pair of Teva booties, I think, last time or two times ago that I went to the bins. They have not sold yet, but they have gotten quite a bit of interest, and I think these are super cute, and people who like Teva and like the comfort factor of those, I think they're gonna want those boots. Okay, this this is a find I was excited about. There's I don't know if there's certain brands for you that you just like to pick up, um, or that you just are excited to find every time. I told you I like to find like clogs and different things like that, but another brand that I love to find is Pendleton. And um, Pendleton is a company that makes mostly wool products and they are located here in Oregon, Eastern Oregon. And um, that's just a classic, they have classic style. They have a lot of cool like Aztec and um, Southwestern kind of designs, but I found a pair of slippers that are Pendleton slippers. And I just think these are so cool. They're a little bit worn on the inside, not too bad, but the outside looks great. And it has some of that like classic Pendleton styling sole looks good, even has kind of a cool style on the sole, so I was super excited about that. Slippers I love, and Pendleton, so that was a good match. All right, these are some Torrid sandals. They still have the Goodwill price tag on them, and I, and I don't know that Torrid is going to bring me a ton in this, you know, for a sandal like this, especially since it's not really a time of year for it, but I think I could probably get 15 to 20. They look pretty new, 
They may be new. I can't tell that there's any wear, wear on the soles. Although I won't say that they're new because I just don't know. Um, but yeah, I just thought these were a really cute style. Torrid, a lot of times they'll be larger sizes, even in shoes. I can't tell what these are. I'll have to look closer, but I just really thought those were cute. Okay, this was kind of exciting find. These are a little bit more worn than I usually pick up, but these are Eileen Fisher shoes. Eileen Fisher is just a great brand. It's a very expensive brand retail, and it sells really well for me. I think I found these exact shoes before in black. And these are just kind of a cute tan. They look very comfortable. As you can tell, there's some wear on the insole. So I will try to clean that a little bit. And I'll probably try to wipe down, clean up the sole a little bit, maybe with a, um, a magic eraser or something like that. But they're not in terrible shape, and I still think they're going to do pretty well. I'll probably put them up for around $40, I think. Uh, but I'll look and check that out before I actually list them. Okay. Um, oh, I found some kid shoes that were cute. These are Nike. I, they look like water shoes to me, or they may just be hiking shoes. I can't really tell, but um, I'll, again, I'll look up the number on them and see if I can find the name for them. They've definitely been worn, but for a kid's shoe, that's going to be that's gonna be a good sale, and people are always looking for Nike stuff. So, Okay, this was an interesting shoe. I think I told you I pick up dance goes a lot, and they are a very consistent seller. Um, and these are kind of wild and a little bit wacky, but these are dance goes as well. I was a little surprised. I didn't know what they were going to be. They do, there's the sole of them is pretty dirty, but that's going to be cleaned up really easy. But that's kind of a cute style. I mean, I don't think I would wear it, but I think there's a lot of people that would wear it. And it's part of the dance go vegan line. I don't know if you can read that, but I have never seen that tag before. And I know that that will appeal to a lot of people as well. So I looked these up. And of course, I'm not going to remember what they were listed for, but I feel like they're in the $40 to $45 range, something like that. So that could be a really great deal, especially once I get them cleaned up and looking a little bit better. Okay, this next brand, I have sold the brand, but not this style of shoe. The uh, shoe is a Sanook, and they're mostly beachy kind of summery shoes. Um, the ones I've sold before have been the loafer brands, and I literally picked up uh, one men's pair and one women's pair a couple weeks ago, and they both sold. Um, within like a few days of each other. So this is a different style of Sanook. It's more of a, a sandal. It is a sandal. And it's got, like got the stretchy fabric and just very comfortable. And so I thought, well, I'm going to give these a try and see if both, um, if the lo I know the loafers sell well, so I'm going to just see if the sandals sell as well too. All right, I've got another pair of slippers here. Just a brown suede and oh these are rei slippers so i again uh activewear rei patagonia prana those kind of um those kind of brands have been doing really well for me and uh so just going with my slipper theme those seemed like they might be a a good pair all right i'm digging into my tub here i also found a pair of sorel slippers these are really cute Again, the insole, it's worn. It probably needs to be replaced. They could probably get an UGG. Uh, you can buy UGG replacements for, I think it's $20. And it makes it like a new slipper on the inside. But these are like the felted wool and suede leather. And sole looks in good condition. Yeah, so I think those will do well. Another pair of boots. Picking up a lot of boots, a lot of slippers, that's just really selling quickly for me right now. So I like to pick that kind of thing up. These, oh, these are also Sorel boots. I did not recognize this style at all. Uh, a lot of times Sorel will have a really, um, uh, I don't know what to call it, a sole that's very kind of jagged and you can just tell, oh yeah, I know that's a Sorel, I recognize it. This is different, it's like more of a rain boot, but then it's got the quilted and it's also got some lining that's kind of like faux fur. And their lace up, I think they're in really great shape actually. And so I think those are gonna be great. Okay, I have to show you these. These are not ones I'm selling, but I think I told you that I'm having a boy grandbaby in the spring or in February. Look at those little tiny, I don't even think they're, they don't even say a brand on them, but I just thought they were too cute to pass up. So I got those little, little boy shoes. Okay, I even picked up a couple purses this time, which I don't always do. 
Um, but I just thought I found some that I've really wanted to give a try. Now, this is a brand I've never heard of. The brand is Helen Welsh. Uh, I'll look, look it up for you and kind of give you an idea of what it goes for. Um, but it's kind of got some cool embellishments on it. So this is what it is. It's just like a little satchel purse. So it's got like the over the shoulder length straps, but look at the cool embellishments on it. You can just tell it's well made. The leather is very soft. So I think that was worth picking up. Okay, here's another one that I was actually pretty excited about. And this was in a bin that a ton of people had gone through. I'm always surprised at what people leave behind, but it just goes to show that everybody's not looking for the same thing and there's just plenty to go around. So this is just kind of a classic looking purse with the short handle and it also has the longer crossbody handle. And the brand, if I can find it to show you in here, yeah, it's down here, but it's a Hobo brand bag. Can you see that? And Hobo was actually a really nice, just classic solid line of purses. And I don't know what this style is called or what it goes for, but it's in beautiful condition. And um, so I was so excited that other people had passed that one up. Um, I also found this cute bag. It's just kind of like a book bag, canvas with leather straps. And I believe this one was, oh no, actually this one, I thought it was J. Crew, but it's not. It's just a hearth and hand from Target. And um, I just thought it was cute. So I will probably sell it, but I don't know. I may end up keeping it and using it, but I just thought it was so cute. And you know, when you're going by weight, this probably cost me a dollar. And so for me, I thought that was worth it. Um, these are kind of cool. These, uh, one of the brands of slippers that I really like to sell is Acorn Slippers. They're a nice, uh, brand very well made um and i've sold probably half a dozen pair of them and i found these i think they're slipper socks and they're the acorn brand they're just i don't know if they're boot socks to be worn with boots they're kind of just like a fleece feeling sock but i think i told you i'm doing thrift gifts for my kids this year and one of my kids my son loves anything warm and cozy and i thought these would be perfect for him so he's getting some slipper socks um, these are really nice. Keens. Keens are a great shoe. They're kind of like a hiking sandal, but they, they do have the closed toe a lot of times. And this is a kid's size, but they look in great shape. The soles look fantastic. A lot of times these hiking boots are really, um, or hiking sandals are just really messed up. And I often, ha often have commented at the bins that sometimes I wonder if people just get their shoes too mud muddy and they don't want to clean them, so they just end up donating them to Goodwill because a lot of the boots and shoes that I find, especially outdoor styles or whatever, are just caked with dirt and mud and, you know, nobody wants to buy those and put the time in to clean them. But I think sometimes it's just easier to donate them than it is to clean them up on their own. So that's just a theory of mine, but... Okay, this was kind of a fun find. I found these Hunter boots, and they're kind of a cool gray-green color. I actually haven't seen this before. I'll probably have to do a little conditioning uh, on them to make them shiny again, because you can tell they're kind of dull. Um, but I found that Hunter boots will sell decently even if they're not in the best of shape. And I looked these over fairly well, because I have bought Hunter boots before from the bins and gotten home and noticed that like there's some little cracks or even um, a split in the heel or something like that. And these have some definite wear on the heel, but I don't think there's any holes in them that I have seen. I'll have to look at those a little bit closer, but um, kind of def defeats the purpose of a rain boot if you get them that have holes in the heel or holes in the sole. So I'm hoping that I didn't overlook anything, but I did try to look them over a little bit closer than I have in the past because I don't want the same thing to happen. I found another cool book bag kind of thing. It has the shorter handles and also the crossbody handle. Again, it's canvas with leather trim. Okay, I did get one from J. Crew. I knew I, that stuck in my mind somewhere. So this is a J. Crew one. And I've had some good luck with J. Crew makes some really nice bags and shoes. Some of their shoes are made in Italy or beautiful leather. And so I think um, people, I th J. Crew definitely has a following. It has people that um, just buy their clothes all the time. And so they are always looking for those deals. And so I like to pick up J. Crew accessories and also J. J. Crew shoes a lot of times. Another really nice heavy leather bag with uh, cool embellishments and zips and lots of inside pockets. And this is Michael Kors. 
and I've never sold a Michael Kors purse. I know um, some of his stuff can be pretty pricey. I don't know what his uh, purses go th for, but I thought this was just so nice. And you can just te tell by feeling it, it's kind of has a weight to it that you know it's made of some nice, nice stuff. Uh, here's another brand that I have only sold once or twice and I don't pick up all the time, but I just really liked this. And I just think I showed this in the Thrift With Me video, last the last video that I did when I found this one. And it's just a Vera Bradley. And she's just known for her quilted bags and purses and backpacks. And this is kind of a cute style, I thought. It's got the long shoulder handle. And I just thought that print was really nice. It's not faded. It's not dirty on the inside. And so I think someone's going to enjoy that. Okay, I think that's all the shoes that I went, that I got. Shoes and purses. And there's a few random things that I got. And so I will try to find those. Until, okay, here's one thing that I found. As we were getting ready to get in line, I saw these in a bin. There's two of them. And they are just a game, a dice game, I think. Anyway, I don't know much about Star Wars stuff, but I just, uh, they're new in the package, still sealed. They have the little barcode here, so I went ahead and scanned it on my app my eBay app, and it looks like they're selling for 10 to $15 each. Um, but it, again, it cost me like a dollar, so I figured if I can sell two of them for around $30, I'd be very happy with that. So, I've, And they're super easy to list. Take a picture, and I mean, that's about it. There's not much to it. So hopefully those will do well, especially right now before Christmas. I'll have to get those um, put up really soon. Uh, another thing I found was this um, Le Creuset dish, just a little brown dish small. I had just been watching someone's YouTube video. I think it was Commonwealth Picker. And he was talking about Le Creuset and how it always does really well. And that was just in my mind, I guess. So I picked this up. I actually don't know if this is a dish that will do that well. I think more, uh, some of their bigger pots with lids and things like that probably do a lot better. This may not, I may end up just keeping this and using it on my own, but at our Goodwill bins, um, glassware is 69 cents a pound. So it's very affordable to buy. And since this is small, it hardly cost me anything. So I just really like that brand too. So I may just keep it for myself. But and then this is something else I found that I'm not sure if I'll sell or keep But um, this is a whack jar and I don't know if you can see it has like a little strawberry Emboss on the front and it's a lidded jar and you can buy like the rubber um, I don't know what they're called There's like a rubber piece and then a clamp that will go on it You can buy those for these they sell whack jars in all different sizes. They're just a really really nice uh, jar and you could use a jar this size for a lot of different things. I really liked that. So I grabbed that again, 69 cents a pound. You can't beat that. Um, trying to see if I have anything else here that was unusual. That Oh, I did find a couple things and I will be right back. Okay, this was kind of a wild thing to pick up. But um, I have picked up a couple of uh, needlepoint pieces before that were like unfinished. Someone had made them. Um, wanting to maybe make a pillow or a wall hanging and uh, the needlepoint part was done but then it was just uh, like raw edged and nothing was done with it and I bought those before and sold them for decent money so when I came across this I thought I had to give it a try and this I don't know if it's a rug or a wall hanging or I actually don't know exactly what it is it may be a rug but it is needlepoint I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole thing but I mean, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that cool pattern. That's about half the size. I'd say this is probably a five by seven or something like that. The back is unfinished, so that's why I'm not sure. I mean, it's still, it's not covered with anything. It has all of the threads and stuff showing. So that's why I'm not sure if it's a rug or meant to be a wall hanging, but that was, it was just, it looks like it's hand done. And um, it was heavier. I'm not sure how much I ended up paying for this. I would say probably between five and seven dollars. But to me, I think I could get I think I could get at least a hundred for this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look. I haven't really looked online, and I was gonna research it before I left the bins. But sometimes I just get get into such a buying frenzy that I I don't get down to the bottom of my cart when I'm leaving to look over stuff. So I ended up coming home with it, but really it doesn't have snags. It doesn't have missing threads. So someone's going to love that. I'm sure they will. 
And then one of the most exciting things that I found was my very last find. Uh, I had gone with my daughter. Uh, we went in the morning for several hours, went and got something to eat, came back. She stuck with me for about another hour and then she was like, Mom, I'm out. I don't have, don't have the stamina. So she went back to the car to just chill and I was telling her, I'm just gonna look at a few more things and then I will come out to the car with you. Well, I happened upon this uh, bin that had a blanket bag in it, like one of those clear bags that zips around and no one had opened it. And I looked in there and I thought, those look like some older blankets. Um, I wonder if they might be anything good. And they were, um, and I grabbed it, opened it up. And the first thing I saw was this tag, which is a Pendleton tag. And this is really pretty. It's like a cream colored woven blanket, which I love. And it has a, this one has a few stains on it, but um, if I can't get them out, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. Someone will still purchase it. And the other thing that I found was, there's music playing somewhere and I don't know where it's coming from. Um, the other thing I found was this beautiful blanket and this one also had that tag on it. How fun was that? My last find at the bins was two Pendleton blankets, some of my favorite things. So this, this was just a great tip, trip overall. But I've got my work cut out for me because I have to get all this stuff listed. I'm going again to the bins tomorrow with my son. And so totally excited. I'm sure he'll be looking for even lots of different things than I'm looking for or than my daughters look for. So I'm excited to see what he finds as well. So stick with me. I will be back with some more thrift with me and haul videos. Um, Erica Jean sells. If you want to subscribe or like this, if you like this kind of content, I would love that. That would be super. And um, I'll just keep bringing this stuff to you and showing you what I got. Thanks for joining. Talk to you later. Bye.